In this video, we'll go over the basics of reading notes in music. Music notes are written on a musical staff. The staff is made up of five lines and the four spaces between those lines. Notes can appear on a line, with the staff line going through the circle part of the note, known as the note head, and notes can appear in a space, with the space going through the note head. We read music left to right, like when we're reading English. Each note has its own name. The names follow the order of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, until G. As they move forward in the alphabet, notes move higher in the staff and sound higher on your instrument. After G, we restart the pattern at A. Notice now how some notes repeat names. Notes with the same name and a different sound will look different on your staff. Let's look at some notes. These are called A, B, C, D. Notice how the notes alternate between space, line, space, line as they go up. These other examples have notes that look the same as the first example, but the note names are different. That's because of the different symbols at the beginning of each example. These symbols are called clefs. Different instruments use different clefs. You only need to know your clef. The first one is called treble clef. It is used for high voices. Violins use treble clef. The second one is called alto clef. It's used for middle voices. Violas use alto clef. The last one is called bass clef. It's used for low voices. Both cellos and basses use bass clef, but the notes on a bass will sound lower than those on a cello. This image shows the relationship between the three clefs. You can see how alto clef shares some of the lower notes of treble clef and some of the higher notes of bass clef. You don't really need to know any of this. I just think it's super cool. Let's learn about your clef. To make memorization easier, we've grouped notes into spaces and lines. Notes in the spaces read F, A, C, E. Notes in the spaces spell the word face. Spaces have faces. Pretty easy. Notes on the lines read E, G, B, D, F. This doesn't really spell a word that we can use, but we can make a phrase using words that start with those letters. Since I like food, the phrase that I like to use is every good brownie deserves fudge. E, G, B, D, F. Our instruments can play more notes than the staff can hold. When we need to extend the staff, we use ledger lines. Notice here as the notes get higher that they're still alternating between space, line, space, line, space, even with the ledger lines. Notes can technically go higher than this, but these are the highest notes you'll need to know for now. Ledger lines can also extend lower. Notice now how the names move backwards in the alphabet because the notes are going lower. These are the lowest notes that your violin is capable of playing. Violins can't go lower than that G there. Memorizing note names is crucial to reading music, but don't worry, we'll get lots of practice in class.